Okay, it's time for some fantasy football math. Are you ready for some football? I'm sure you are. Okay, Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's a quarterback for the Buffalo Bills, who defeated the Redskins last night. Uh, Ryan threw uh, 20, 27 passes. He made 27 attempts. He completed 21 of them. He threw for two touchdown passes, and he gained 262 yards passing. Okay, in the league that we're going to be in, Every touchdown equals six points. And every 50 yards, it's harder, it's hard to write while you're holding a camera, I've noticed. Passing equals one point. Okay. Let's do the hard part first. The 50 yards passing equals one point. He, we know he gained 262 yards passing. We want to divide that by 50, because every 50 yards passing will, will earn him one point. So we want to see how many times 50 goes into 262. Okay. We know 50, 5 times 4 is, two, is 20, so 50 times 4 is going to be 200. 5 times 5 is 25, so we know 50 times 5 will be 250. 5 times 6 is 300, so I'm sorry, 5 times 6 is 30, so we know 50 times 6 will be 300. That'll be too much. So we know 50 will go into 262 five times. 5 times 50 is 250. We subtract, we get 12. Okay? So our remainder is 12. But what that really means is 12 out of 50. 12 out of 50 is our remainder. So we'd say 5 and 12 out of 50. Okay, so 12 out of 50 points. I'm sorry, 5 points and 12 fiftieths of a point. If I wanted to make that into a, with a, into a decimal, say 5 and 12 fiftieths, I want to make that denominator equivalent to 100. I know, uh, so 50 times 2, sorry, Again, it's hard to write while you're holding the camera. 5 times 2 is 100. So I'm sorry, 50 times 2 is 100. So then I do the same thing to the numerator. I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 out of 100 is equivalent to 24 hundredths. So I would say that Ryan Fitzpatrick earned me 5 and 24 hundredths points. by throwing for 262 yards. That's how I write it as a decimal. Okay. But I want to also write it as a fraction in simplest form. So we know 5 and 12 fiftieths was, was our original fraction, right? Okay. Using my rules of divisibility, I see that they're both even. 12 and 50 are both even. That means I can divide them both by 2. Twelve divided by 2 is 6. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Okay? Uh, they're not both even, so I can't divide them both by 2. 6 is divisible by 3, but 25 isn't because 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 isn't divisible by 3. It's not divisible by 5 because they both don't end in 5 or 0. It's not divisible by 6 because they're both not even. It's not divisible by 9 or 10. So I think 5 and 6 25ths is simplest form. Okay? So that's the amount of points that Ryan Fitzpatrick earned us in simplest form as a fraction in simplest form. 5 and 6 25ths points as a fraction in simplest form. 5 and 24 hundredths as a fraction in decimal form. That's the amount of points we earned through his passing yardage. Okay. We also know that every touchdown equals 6 points. And he threw for 2 touchdown passes. So 2 touchdowns, if each one is 6 points, but 2 times 6 is 12. So he also earned us 12 points through touchdowns. So we would say 12.0. Zero plus 
five and twenty four hundredths. Add it up. Two plus five is seven. One plus nothing is one. Altogether, Ryan Fitzpatrick earned my fantasy team if I owned him. 17 and 24 hundredths points. And that's how fantasy football uses math, and that's how we'll be using math during brain train time in our fantasy football league.